Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Today we're going to talk about Dropbox Transfer, a way to send big files. When you need to send digital photos to someone, how do you do it? And how do you handle sending other large files? Well, you and I have always experienced uh, that sending large items as email attachments just is a recipe for disaster. The message takes forever to send, and sometimes it just doesn't send at all, and the recipient won't appreciate what's happening on their end either. For years, I've used a free service called WeTransfer. You can go there at to wetransfer.com. Let me share my screen. I'm going to show you how that one works. So here's a document that I have here on my desktop, and let's say that it's too large to go as an email attachment. So I just simply go to wetransfer.com. Now you'll be prompted to create a free account, but you don't have to do that. I never have. I'm just going to say no thanks. And now it's as easy as this. I just drag my file onto WeTransfer. Just drag it onto the screen. You can drag as many files as you want to, all the way up to two gigabytes of stuff that you could send at any one time. It's going to want the email address of the person you're sending to. It's going to want you to put in your own email address. And you can put any message that you want to for the recipient. And now click transfer. Verify your email. It says just one quick check to make sure you're really you. We've sent a verification to the email address that you're provided. So I'm going to go over to my email, check the email, and grab that little code, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got the email. I copied the verification code. I've typed it in here, and we're going to say verify. And once it's verified, it was really me. And that quickly, it sent it. Now, the larger the file, the more time it's going to take. Here's what happens next. The other person gets an email from WeTransfer. Inside that email is a link. They click it. It downloads the documents to their computer. You'll get an email when that happens, letting you know that they downloaded your material. And if after a few days they still haven't done it, you get an email that lets you know that. After a few days, they simply delete your information from their server so that your information is not hanging around their own WeTransfer server. So now we've talked about WeTransfer, but yet I told you that this one's all about Dropbox transfer. So let's move on. If you are a Dropbox user, Dropbox transfer works exactly the same way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we are with the same file that we want to send. But now I'm in my Dropbox account, and I want you to notice this little link here that says Transfer. I'll click it. Now, there's another way I could have gotten to the same spot. I could have said Dropbox.com slash Transfer. And it's going to give me exactly the same thing. So I'm here, or I could have gone to dropbox.com and clicked Create Transfer. Either way, you wind up at the same spot. All right, just like we transfer, I'm going to drag my information over here. It could be one file, it could be a number of files. Now, listen to how much you can send through uh, Dropbox Transfer. 100 gigabytes of at any one time, 100 gigabytes. All right, so I've dragged, I've dragged my stuff here. I'm going to say create transfer. Your transfer is good to go. To see who downloads your transfer, email it, and here's a little link that I can send. So I'm going to copy the link And how satisfied are we? We're going to say that we're extremely satisfied. We'll take their little survey. And so now I have this link. I just send the other person an email with this link uh, inside it. And that is Dropbox Transfer. So 
if you've been wondering how can I send those large files, how can I send those photos to somebody else, this gives you a way to do it. Now you may say, well, hasn't Dropbox always given me the ability to share with other people? Well, yes it has. In fact, Dropbox is a great way to collaborate on things and let the other person edit your document. But what if you don't want them to edit? And what if you don't want to run the risk of somehow your documents being deleted? Dropbox Transfer gives you a very safe way to basically just send a copy to that other person. I hope that Dropbox Transfer is something that's going to make your life just a little bit easier. And hey, what if you don't have a Dropbox account at all? Well, maybe today's the day to start one. Um, you can create a new account for free at Dropbox.com and you'll get two free gigabytes of storage. But let me give you a different link. Use this link and you're not only going to get those two gigabytes of free storage, but an additional 500 megabytes of storage and I'll also get an additional 500 megabytes myself. Here's the link. It's a short link, a bit.ly link. bit.ly slash frankbuck156. So all in lowercase, bit.ly slash frankbuck156. That'll get you your Dropbox account with 2.5 gigabytes of free storage. Thanks for stopping by today. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.